And before the big show, our own Candy Brown is their tour guide this morning. What a cool job. She's joining us live this morning. Oh, my gosh. Center. I'm on the court. I've never been on the court before. There's Heaven. a reason for that. And Heaven. I would like There's you to check these out. You know, I was telling you about these Jordans that I bought for the Kings games. Yeah. I've only worn them twice because it's been raining at a lot of these games. You cannot wear these in the rain. You're right. Okay, no. these are the special Those shoes. You only sweet, bust them Gabby. out occasionally. Now, I told them that I was putting them on so that I could school buckets this morning. But let's be honest. They call me white cheddar because I'm white and I'm cheesy. And they call you buckets because. I get buckets. I get buckets. That's it. what he does. But you made me laugh, though. With the white cheddar, I never heard that. You never heard that? No. You need no. someone on your team named White Cheddar. Uh, you know what? We're going to work on that. Okay, I mean, okay. You know, you already got the shoes, so we're good. She I does. have no skills. I have no skills, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm, I'm tall, so people just assume that I can play basketball. Nope. Clumsy. Nope. We're lucky that I can walk. Honestly. Okay. So now let's, let's see some skills here because you're going to be here next Monday. Yes. Right? You're pretty so, excited. Oh, okay. Well, well, there we go. The mic off. So okay. we got something we do called the Magic Circle. And in okay. the middle of the court, to the tune of Sweet Georgia Brown, we all do something unique with the basketball. So that's what I'm going to show you right okay, now. Okay, let's see it. Let's see it. Uh, by the way, he told me he was going to try and scuff, uh, try and not scuff my shoes, and I told him if he did, this broadcast is over. Okay, <laughs> it's just going to go straight to black. The friendship. Yes. Straight to black. Will exactly. Exactly. end. Now, you guys have two games on Ooh, Monday. Oh, wow. Nice. You are very talented. Oh. How long did it take you, and how did you realize that you were good at these different skills in basketball? Uh, well, you know what? Lots and lots of practice. You know, and when I got to the Globe Trotters, I didn't know how to do any of those tricks with the basketball because I came in. They scout you on your basketball talent. They're looking for three criteria. So basketball talent, athleticism, and then they're looking for a certain personality because we do a lot of community outreach. Mm -hmm. they're, all, they're also lined because there's one other thing, good looks. i never seen an ugly Harlem Globe Trotters. <laughs> <that's the truth. laughs> well, I, I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. You know, I go to the dentist often. I, we, I brush every morning, every day. So yeah, that's good. good. That's good. But these are things, kids, if you're watching at home, these are important to remember. You need to brush your teeth and you need to practice because those are the ways that you could be a Harlem Globe Trotter. Now, who are you guys playing? On Monday, uh, we're playing a team called the World All Stars. Okay. So they're comprised of a bunch of guys from all over the world. Um, we no longer play the Washington Generals because people think we still play that team. We do not, and we play them twice. So uh, one and six p.m. We can't wait. It's our 2017 World Tour. Nice. We have a four-point shot, which is 30 feet away from the basket, Ooh. that we added to the game of Ooh, basketball, okay. which uh, hopefully. You know, maybe the NBA might pick up that shot. Some yeah. guys shoot from so far. Okay, I love it. So that's going to be happening next Monday, 1 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Tickets still available. It is a holiday that day. Kids are thinking, 1 o'clock, I got to take the kids out of school. No, you don't. They have the day off from school. They want to come out here and, and uh, see this. And while I'm here, you know, I might as well check out what this seat feels like. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, it's I, the only know, time they're going to be able to get happen, that. Yeah. So I'll probably never be able to sit in there. There it is. <laughs> How does it feel? How does it feel, Kim? Uh -huh. I could real holler at Demarcus <laughs> no, from here. But if you're in it that seat, good. if it you're in that good. seat, I would be his number one cheerleader. Right. You got to be like Drake. You got to be like Drake and be completely in the way in that seat right there. Messing with players, yelling at referees, oh, yelling like at coaches. Yes, exactly. Oh, I would. There you go.